All right, welcome to the RC Printer YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jordan Visco. Today, we're gonna to be taking another look at this guy right here, which is the OpenRC F1 car by Daniel Noray. And more specifically today, we're gonna to look at the tires and we're gonna talk about the different types of tires you could throw onto the vehicle. Tires are one of the more confusing parts of a 3D printed RC build because you can print your own tires, but maybe it's not always the best if you wanna have the best performance. So stick with us and we'll help you decide what you should do for your very own OpenRC F1 tires. Okay, so the OpenRC F1 car uh, does come with an option for 3D printing your own tires. And these are them right here. The rear ones are keyed I don't know if you can see that there, uh, but they're keyed so that they slide right onto the drive axle. You print them in TPU. Um, the inside wheel is printed in PLA, but the outside's printed in TPU and you use a very low infill and uh, just a couple of walls and you get tires that, you know, are pretty squishy. Now, unfortunately, while they look the part, the performance isn't that great. Um, you can hear here, that they're pretty slippy. And it turns out when you run them on the OpenRC car on something like asphalt, you're just gonna be slipping all over the place. So if we compare them uh, to something like this, which is an off the shelf purchase wheel and tire kit off Amazon, on a harder surface here, you can see that the 3D printed one slips really easily where the rubber one has a lot more traction. So the 3D printed one is great if you're looking for something that fits the car really well and is going to look like a F1 wheel, but it's not great if you're looking to drive it around and get some decent performance. So other than the OpenRC F1 wheels, there are a large number of different 3D printable options for wheels uh, created by the user community. And there's one user on Thingiverse uh, named Thomas from Sweden who has created pretty much every option under the sun for tires for the OpenRC F1 car. So you can find rain slicks on there and you can find low profile tires. You can even find snow tires and sand tires. Um, so if you're looking to 3D print your own wheels, you do have a large number of options. Now I should say there are different types of TPU. This is uh, one of the most common ones, which is a 95A TPU. So a softer TPU might do a little bit better, but you're still not gonna get the performance that a rubber tire is gonna give you. So then I was looking around on Thingiverse and I found these little adapters that I've attached to my wheels here and I'll pull one off so you can see it. Bom -de -bom -de -bom. And they look like this, and these are little 12 millimeter hex adapters, which will fit pretty much any uh, 110RC car wheel. And that's great, because you just slide them right on here. And then you can buy any uh, regular 110 wheel you can find at your local hobby shop, and they should work great on your car. So these were the first ones that I bought. Um, and what I found was they were a little bit taller than what I wanted. I wanted something that looked a little bit more like an F1 slick. Um, so then I have upgraded to these ones here and they're just, you can kind of see, they're just slightly smaller um, and they got that slick look on them. I would recommend something like this. These ones I probably paid like 15, 20 bucks for off Amazon, whereas these ones actually shipped in from AliExpress. So they came from China and they were like super cheap, I think just two or three dollars. Um, so if you have the time to wait, I'd recommend ordering some of these, but you know, whatever you can find at your local hobby shop would be great as well. So my favorite idea for the tires for the OpenRC F1 car is actually none of these though. It's these guys here. And in the design files for the OpenRC F1 car, Daniel Naray has created these extra set of rims. And these are supposed to fit these Tamiya F104 rubber tires. And I haven't been able to find any um, in my location. I think they're pretty easy to find in the US, but we're in Canada and so I got to order them online and it's been tough trying to get them. I actually had to order these ones off eBay and they came from Japan. So you do have a couple different options with hardness of the rubber. I got harder ones for the front and some nice um, really soft ones for the rear. The rear ones are a little wider than the front ones and same with the wheels as well. The rear ones are a little wider than the front. Uh, they're pretty easy to print. You do need some supports underneath. Um, just to hold up the center of the hub. And I used supports everywhere, so I ended up having supports um, supporting this inside lip as well. 
uh, which were a little bit of a pain to take off, but it wasn't too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them on. There's a little lip here, and that actually slides into a little groove um, that exists in the tire. So I'll show you what that's like. Bom -de -bom -de -bom. So here's the tire, and you can see just on the inside there, there's a little lip, and the lip on the wheel just slides right into the tire. Bom -de -bom -de -bom. So you get them on there, and then you just kind of work them on like this. Around and around. And the other side. Bom -de -bom -de -bom. Just like that. And you know, when we compare it to the ones that I was using, they're a little lower, they're a lot wider. And these rear soft ones here, like I can feel how soft they are and I know they're gonna grip super well on the road. So let's go ahead and, and uh, get all these set up and then we can throw them on the car. All right, there we go, there they are installed. I should definitely be gluing these on, but I'm not gonna right now. I'm gonna give them a little test first uh, before I make this permanent. You can see the front ones are a little skinnier and they're also a little shorter. So it's gonna give the car a little bit of a forward leaning look. I should say as well, these wheels do seem non-directional. There's no pattern on them at all, uh, but there is a little Tamiya logo on one side. So I've decided to make sure that goes on the outside just for looks, but they should go on either way. Bom -de -bom -de -bom. All right, so there you go. That's what the OpenRC F1 car looks like with the new Tamiya F104 tires installed. You can definitely feel the difference between the soft ones in the back here, which are much squishier, and the harder rubber ones up front. Uh, one thing I did kind of notice is that because these tires back here are so wide, um, they actually are rubbing a little bit right there in one spot. And I think it's just because I have a bulge in my tire and I haven't glued it down properly yet. Uh, but there's like, you know, in most of the tire, there's maybe two millimeters of clearance. And then just in the one spot there, it's rubbing a little bit. So that's something to watch out for as well if you're doing the Tamiya F104 tires. But um, I really like them. So I'm gonna keep them on for now and try and make them work. So that's it for me today. I would like to test these out, but I got one more modification that I wanna do to this thing first. I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to show you in the next video. So we'll get that on there and then we'll, we'll go test them out. It's really snowy outside right now. So I guess we're gonna be testing indoors. If you're looking for cool ideas of 3D printable RC projects to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, check us out at rcprinter.com. Till next time.